Joe Scarborough called on the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove Donald Trump from office, adding that people close to the president have said he has shown early signs of dementia. While speaking passionately on MSNBC's Morning Joe Thursday, Scarborough said Trump is completely detached from reality and fueling the threat of a war with North Korea, making his presidency dangerous for U.S. citizens. If this is not what the 25th Amendment was drafted for, I would like the cabinet members serving America, not the president, serving America, you serve America and you know it, Scarborough said. You know you don't serve Donald J. Trump, scam developer, scam you know Trump University proprietor, reality TV show host, you don't represent him. You represent 320 million people whose lives are literally in your hands, and we are facing a showdown with a nuclear power and have you somebody inside the White House, somebody that the New York Daily News says is mentally unfit. He continued. People close to him say he is mentally unfit, people close to him during the campaign told me he had early stages of dementia. Now, listen, you can get mad at me. When are we supposed to say this? After the first nuclear missile goes? Is that when it's proper to bring this up in polite society? Tell me. The former Florida congressman, 54, pointed to a series of tweets the president recently posted including his feud with British Prime Minister Theresa May over Trump's retweeting of unverified anti-Muslim videos. On Wednesday, Trump took aim at Scarborough on Twitter, calling attention to another unverified conspiracy theory appearing to call for an investigation into the death of a staffer who was found in the former GOP congressman's Florida district office in 2001. A local medical examiner ruled the death an accident stating that the 28-year-old woman had an undiagnosed heart condition, collapsed and hit her head on the side of a desk, according to The Hill. Co-host and fiancé Mika Brzezinski read a statement that she wrote in response. Today the president crossed another deep and disturbing line with his attacks on Joe, she said. The chief law enforcement officer of the United States of America advanced a false conspiracy theory to intimidate the press and cause a chilling effect on the First Amendment. Brzezinski added, Joe and I are not intimidated. And his bizarre behavior contravenes both the Constitution and basic moral judgment. Thank you for watching and listening. Please subscribe our channel for more news and updates. Updates.